Hello, my name is Anuk from the Academy of Modern Tantra. Today I'll guide you through a few tantric yoga asanas with the goal to help awaken your kundalini energy as well as raising your vibration level. If you're walking a tantric path, it is beneficial that you incorporate tantric yoga practice in your schedule, at least a few times a week, but aiming to include it on a daily basis. As yoga put our attention on our breath, teaching us how to make our energy flow more efficiently, it also practices mindfulness, positivity and gratitude, allowing you to manifest at a higher potential. For the practice, I invite you to sit cross-legged on a yoga mat or folded blanket. Make sure you create an environment that is pleasing for all of your senses. I personally like to use essential oils in my diffuser, my favorite being Ilong Ilong with its floral and sensual scent. So let's start by putting one hand on our heart, one hand on our stomach, and gently put our attention on our spine, lengthening it from the base to the top. Breathe deeply through the nose, feeling the air moving through your belly, through the chest and up, and then exhale down all the way to your mula banda, engaging it, so squeezing it in and up, like you're retaining to pee, okay? Once again, inhaling through the nose, exhale, squeeze your mula banda, and let's go, let's do this a few times. From here, bring both hands on the knees and continuing to breathe, we're going to use the knees to pull the chest in and out, keeping your hips and lower back mobile. This will be very opening for your heart and engaging the Mula Banda in this exercise will really activate your Kundalini energy. Okay, let's go together for one minute. But once you're used to this exercise, you can move up to three to five minutes. And chest in and out, using the knee, breathing keeping the pelvic floor engaged. Okay, and now inhale deeply, exhale deeply, and from here, place your legs in front of you, and then join the soles of your feet in a bound angle, as we start to warm up the hips. Interlace your fingers around your feet as you bend forward. This pause increases the blood flow in the groin area, and where blood flows, the energy flows. Okay, let's now stand up and step into a wide-legged stand. Interlace your fingers behind your back and gently fold forward from the hips, bending your knees as much as you need in order to release the tension in your spine. Let your head hang heavily and relax your neck. This pause is great for opening parts of your body that tend to hold stress, an emotional trauma. By allowing your body to rest and rejuvenate, you will allow energy and sexual energy to enter again your body. Okay, from here, bring both hands down to the floor, bending at the knee if needed. 
bring the toes in a little, then the heels in. Again, toes in, heels in, and lower your hips down towards the ground in a deep squat, readjusting the legs if needed. Take your upper arms inside your knee and bend at the elbow to bring the palms together. And here you want to press the upper arms into the thighs. Malasana helps to increase the blood flow in the groin area as well. It's one of my favorite paths that also brings me a feeling of strength and powerfulness. Here you're gonna try to do some pulses by lifting the hips up and down just a little, connecting it to your breath and engaging the pelvic floor. Okay, so we're trying a few times. And up and down. Okay, to your own rhythm. And then inhale. Exhale once again, little pulses. And inhale, relax. To come out, bring the hands back on your mat and turn to face one leg, one hand on each side of the leg. And then move your leg back so that you're laying on your stomach. Place your hands near your shoulders and then raise your upper body and torso, pressing the legs into the mat and keeping the core engaged navel in. Your elbows can remain bent or straight. Inhale up and then exhale down and let's do this a few times. Continue to go up and down following the rhythm of your breath. Cobra Paz works on your sex, navel, heart and throat chakras. This should give you a good indication of how powerful this paz is, as it works on four of the seven important chakras. It is also known to awaken your kundalini energy. On your next exhale, Bring your hips towards your heels in a resting child's pose, arms overhead and palms on the floor. I like to finish with this asana as it helps grounding us. While feeling safe and supported, this posture also encouraged to connect with our inner self. Take the time you need here before slowly unrolling your spine and find a sitting posture. Thank you for watching this video. I trained myself with Jennifer's search from the Academy of Modern Tantra. If you wish to find out more about how Tantra can change your life, contact the Academy now.